Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today for this dance inspired advanced glute workout. Let's begin by going halfway back on our elbows. We're gonna bring our knee up towards our chest and open to do some hip circles. This is just part of the warm up. Let's do eight hip circles on the right and then eight hip circles on the left. Switch sides, make sure that your back is flat from your shoulders all the way down to your pelvis and tailbone so that you're not wiggling your hips. This is also for pelvic stabilization. Keep going. And let's go back to the right and reverse the direction of the circles. And let's switch sides. Beautiful. Come back up to a seated position. Put your hands behind your back. Swing one leg behind you. Both knees are bent 90 degrees to create a 90-90 position, otherwise known as double stag. Still part of the warm-up, let's create some windshield wiper movements with our legs. Imagine there's a string between your knees so that you're moving from one side to the next side evenly with both legs. Keep going. Option here to do this without your hands supporting you behind your back and this is much more challenging for the glutes but it really opens up the hips. Keep doing a few more. Come back to the first side. Option here to take your hands slightly in front of your shin or your hands on your knee and ankle. We're only lifting the knee, not moving the hips, really working on that external rotation. You're going to feel this in your glutes. Do about six more. Now you'll notice here when I lift my knee, my hip doesn't lift and I'm making sure that my head and neck are in line with my back and that my entire spine is in a straight line. Now this next one's pretty tricky, but you're going to lift your entire shin and calf off the floor by lifting your knee and your foot without hiking your hip up. Let's do eight in total. This one's really good for glute strength as well as working on your turnout. Beautiful. Keep this last one hovering and stretch the knee as you bring the leg to the side and then bring it all the way to the front. Kind of doing a grand rond de jambe. If you're a dancer, you're very familiar with this movement. So you're going from an attitude derriere to a relevé long devant in front of you. Keep going. Try to drop that butt cheek as soon as you can when you bring the leg to the side. So stretch, drop the butt and lower the hip and then bring it back to the back and keep the knee and the shin and the foot off the floor. Let's move to the second side and we begin by opening the knee eight times to the back. Let's go. Now we lift both the knee and the foot eight times, keeping our body stable and trying not to slide over towards the front leg. And let's do those attitude swings again. If this is your more challenging side, I challenge you to do four extra. Keep going.
relax after the last one go ahead and extend the back leg bring the front heel closer to the body and turn in the back leg parallel so that you can go into a pigeon stretch to stretch out your glutes go ahead and switch sides Next set of exercises, you will need two yoga blocks or anything that will elevate your feet a few inches off the floor. That can be books or your bed frame. With our feet flat on the surface, let's lift our hips eight times for eight glute bridges. Beautiful. After this last one, make sure that your pelvis is still slightly tucked under and let's do 16 pulses at the top. Feet are still on the blocks or whichever surface you've chosen to elevate your feet on. Keeping your hips lifted, we're going to open the right knee to the side without opening the hip and then bring it back and then externally rotate and open the left knee to the side from the top of the hip and then bring it back. Let's do six more. So we do six on the right and back, five on the left and back. Good. Four on the right and back, three on the left and back, keep tucking under, two more, two on the right and back, last one, left and we come back. Let's open both knees by rotating from the top of the hip and we're going to lower the butt and then lift it up. Keep tucking under, make sure that you're rotating from the top of your hips rather than the ankles. If you need, you can come off of the blocks if this is too unstable for you, but otherwise keep tucking under and keep your belly button close to your spine. After this last one, turn in your legs and roll all the way down. Take your right heel stacked on top of your left leg, thread your hands through to a figure four. And let's switch sides. Take your hands underneath your hamstrings to roll all the way up. Swing your legs around behind you into a tabletop position and use one block underneath your knee. Shoulders stacked on top of wrists, belly button lifted towards your spine. Let's go into some fire hydrants, opening one leg and again for seven. And let's do six. And let's do five, keeping that 90 degree bend. Let's do four. And we have three. Keep going, we have two. And the last one, we have one. Let's extend the knee at the top here. Keep the leg lifted for four and bend. Extend three and bend. Extend two and bend. Extend last one and bring it in and we pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Go on to the same elbow of the knee that's on the block, place the other hand on the other block and let's lift the knee higher and lower halfway down. Lift it up higher and lower halfway down. Keep going, lift it up higher, trying to stack the hips and stack the shoulders and lower down and lift it up. Don't let it lower down all the way. We're only going to that parallel position where your leg is hovering off the floor.
Beautiful. After this last one, extend the knee and bend. Extend the knee and bend. Keep it at the top. Extend and bend. Extend and lower the toe down. And then we're going to lift it all the way up again. So we're working towards our side tilt, trying to stack the shoulders and stack the hips. We're almost there. You've got it. I know this is really difficult. And after this last one, we're going to slide all the way down to a half middle split and half frog with our knees still on the block. Keep squeezing your glutes so that you can open up your hip flexors and your inner thighs. Feel free to rock forward and back here as well and slightly tuck under and then tilt forward just to keep mobilizing your hips. Begin to come all the way back up. Keep your knee on the block and tuck your toe under and just sit back for a bit and then swing your side leg out to the front into a lunge. Untuck your toe to send it back into a lunge and lift your back knee without lifting your hips. Keep doing that a couple of times. Feel a nice deep stretch in the back of your hip flexor. Keep your hips low. Option here to bring the shoulders forward as you lift the knee so you can give your lower back a little bit of extra space. Point your front toe out towards the corner of the mat. Take the blocks on the inside edge of your front foot and take your elbows on the blocks. Keep your hips low, keep your back toes tucked, and then you can release the knee and untuck the toes and lower the hips a bit more. Point your front toe forwards, take your hands on the blocks, tuck your toes under, and then flip your hips to be in a side lunge, externally rotating both legs. Keep flipping between your front facing lunge and your side lunge while keeping your back hip low and open. Try to think of lengthening the back leg to go into Alice Kant, and then go ahead, send your hips up, stretch both knees into a triangle, bring your nose close to your shin. Step your back foot forward and your front foot back into a forward fold, grab both ankles and then do whatever you need to do here, whether that's shake your head yes and no, bend and stretch your knees a couple of times and then let's point our toes out, point our knees out and lower the hips. Keep doing that sequence a couple of times from your forward fold, sink your hips low, open up your hips into a grand plie a la seconde. Go ahead and take your hands on your thighs or on your knees and twist your shoulders left and right. And then let's start everything on the second side. So now the other knee is on the block and we're doing eight fire hydrants with the other leg. Let's go. Lifting for eight and lower. We have seven and lower. Belly buttons moving towards our spine. Six and lower. Five and lower. Do not tuck those back toes. That is cheating. We keep the back toes pointed. Let's do two more. Two and lower. And last one. Extend the knee and bend. Extend the knee and bend. Again, extend the knee and bend. Extend the knee and bend. We're going to pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, take the same hand of the foot that's on the block and stack your shoulders, stack your hips, open up that outside leg and then bring it halfway down. Open it up again and bring it back down. Keep going, open it up and back down. Trying to stack the shoulders and stack the hips and lower halfway down, extend, lift up and lower. Lift the knee up, stack the shoulders, stack the hips and let's do two more, lift the knee up and last one, lift the knee up and we're going to extend the top leg, extend the knee and bend the knee, keep the leg lifted, extend the knee and bend the knee, keep the leg lifted, extend the knee and bend and extend. And then we're going to go to those toe taps. So tap your toe down and lift it up with the strength of your glutes. Tap the toe down and lift it up. Use that hand on the block to really stack the shoulders. Keep your belly button towards your spine. Engage your core. Engage your glutes.
And after this last one, slide out to a half frog, half middle split. Rock forwards and back, or do whatever you need to do here, and relax your hips. Squeeze your glutes, bring your belly button to your spine, don't let your back collapse. And coming back up, that extended leg is going to be your front leg in a front facing lunge. That knee that's on the block is going to extend to be your back leg in a front facing lunge. Again here, bend and stretch your back knee so it taps the floor. And when you lift the knee, keep the hips low. Again, option, bring the shoulders slightly forward to give a little bit more space in your lower back. Keep going. Walk your blocks to the inside corner of your front leg and then pivot your hips to face the front in a side lunge and face your front lunge. Do a couple more of those, keeping your hips low. And then stack the blocks lower, place your elbows on them, point your front toe out towards the corner of the mat, and then you can release the back leg and untuck the toes. Option here to tuck the toes, lift the knee, keep the hips low, and rock forwards and back. Point your front toe forwards, place both blocks on either sides of your front foot, and then lift the hips, stretch the knees into a triangle. Stay here for a couple moments. Point your toes forward, hips are in the center. You can take your blocks underneath your head, grab your ankles in your forward fold, and then let's point both knees and feet outwards, keeping your hands on the floor to walk them back to the center to eventually go on top of your knees into a deep grand plie, ballet squat, whatever you wanna call it, but I love this stretch. Go ahead, stretch one knee to the side, and then move to the other side in your side lunge. Option here to use no hands on the floor, a little bit of an extra challenge, and keep sinking those hips lower by engaging the glutes, and keep the shoulders stacked. You can also use the blocks here if you don't want to go no hands. Go ahead and slide into your middle splits from here, and then as you're in your middle splits, just feel free to rock forwards and back. Keep engaging all those muscles that we worked on before and conditioned and take your time to stretch out here. Thank you so much for joining me today for this middle split slash glute workout and exercise routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see next. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and until next time, bye now.